Hey guys, finally it's happening in Asoroko. There is problem going on right now in Asoroko. Coup plotters, they have started again. Now, the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Lagbaja, he has cried out too. He said the army will not succumb to calls by young Nigerians too, and those powerful interest blocks to disrupt democratic governance in the country. So these people, they are, you know, looking for every means possible to overthrow President Bola Metinubo. Now Nigerian president is now running, running up and down from pole to pillar, <laughs> looking for solution. Nigerians, there is confusion going on in our Sorok. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Lagbaja, has said that the Army will not succumb to calls by young Nigerians and powerful interest blocks to disrupt, economic, the, disrupt democratic governance in the country. Also, Defender reports that some Nigerians during the recent and bad governance in Nigeria protests called for a military takeover. The general stated this on Tuesday, August 27, in its opening remark at the 2024 Chief of Army Staff Combined Second and Third Quarters Conference held in Oyo, the Aquaibon State Capital. He said that the Nigerian army was still struggling to restore its integrity after many years of military rule, and hence is not ready to lose its pre uh, prestige built in the past 25 years of staying out of power. The COAS, who spoke against the backdrop of calls by youth, for military intervention during the August threats to tank and bad governance protests, pledged to ensure that the army works for a united and secure country. Another pertinent issues that came up during the recent protests is the call for democratic inter intervention in governance by the armed forces of Nigeria. Although one can say this was coming from young Nigerians who never experienced the era of Nigerians' intensive military rule and the consented struggle by heroes and heroines of our current domestic dispensation, the democratic dispensation to get the, the nation on its current path. As chief of army staff, my simple response to, to the call is, thanks, but no thanks. The Nigerian army will not allow itself to be used to undemocratically sell some interest to power. As the service that received the most image bashing as a fallout of previous military interventions in Nigeria, the Nigerian army is not posed to lose the new prestige it has been painstakingly built in the past 25 years, Lagbaja said. He said that apart from combating physical insecurity such as terrorism, banditry, crude oil, thieves, and others, the Nigerian army was posed to address the challenge of the food crisis, which could trigger physical security uh, issues. To this end, Lagbaja re revealed that the Nigerian Army, as a way of ensuring food security, was embarking on massive food production in partnership with the government and the private sector. Evidently, the situation that led to the protest seems to have settled. But the Nigerian army understands that the issue of food security will remain on the front banner or burner of our national security policy and discussions for, for a while. 
as a way of strengthening a soft power approach to resolving Nigerians' food security challenge, the Nigerian army will, in the coming days, review its agricultural policy to better position the Nigerian army farms and ranches limited to significantly boost crop production so that the army can release grains into the market at highly subsidized rate in support of government efforts. Furthermore, the Army Headquarters is revealing some proposals for partnership with ministries, departments, and agencies of government and reputable private organizations on how best to collaborate to resolve the food crisis in the country. Okay, we can't just go on and on and on, on again. And I don't hear the matter, so the Nigeria Chief of Army Staff, Lagbaja don't say, he vowed to protect President Bola Metinobu's administration. Say nobody or any or people or group of people who get interest to overthrow the president go fit. Say because he did for Grand Bagada. Hey, he go make sure to say that kind of act no go fit happen for Niger. Mm -hmm. So you say, and uh, you understand, say some people during the NSAS protest, they use that looking for a way, one or two ways to make sure that, you know, make while I come Nigeria. You say, but you not go green. Uh -huh. Say they stand for the protection for Nigeria. Okay. They stand for the unity of this country. So those people who are calling for uh, uh, army to overthrow the present administration, he said that is not possible. And another one again, he's going to talk about how Nigerian army go make sure say food production, you know, will not be a problem again for Nigeria. Anyway, he talks so many things, but well, make we leave that one for another day. Uh, time of election or whatever don't pass. Anybody when want to do something, we just want to see action. We know one here, we go, we will, we are going to, all those kind of things. We don't tell here, we don't to hear things like that. And last, last, nothing they happen. So anybody when want to do something now, Nigerians, they just want what action. Make a drop up for you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. I beg, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.